Welcome back to Forza Horizon 4 guys. I've been getting so many comments from you guys telling me to try Forza Horizon 4 with this. This is my Thrustmaster racing wheel. More specifically, this is a Sparco racing rim on a TSXW sort of stand motor. Anyways, the awesome people over at Thrustmaster actually sponsored this video, hooked me up with some more accessories, which we will use in some future videos, so stay tuned for that. Anyways, before we get too far into this video, there'll be a link down below to the Thrustmaster racing wheel that I'm using here if you'd like to check it out for yourself. We've got like a handbrake coming and a bunch of other cool stuff, so like I said, make sure you're subscribed. Anyways, I wanted to challenge myself today to try to do one of the hardest things that there is to do with a racing wheel, and that's actually going off-road. You're constantly flicking the car left and right and absorbing a lot of bounces, so I wanted to try to build the ultimate off-roader and do a bunch of the mud kicker stuff. I don't know how well this is gonna go. I've wanted to make it as simple as I could for my first time using the wheel, but fingers crossed we'll see what happens. Anyways, let's find ourselves the off-roader for today. So what do I want to use? I can use my famous slam tank down here. I, I don't know. Or maybe we just go with the Hilux Arctic truck because that thing is also a beast. It's also pretty cheap, honestly. Let's cross fingers and hope this works. We're going, we're going full Top Gear style. We got this. Well, it's weird. The camera's sort of messed up for this car. That's a bit strange. Okay, anyways, let's, uh, let's go and do some upgrading. For this particular one, because I was a little bit worried about the whole weight of the thing, I think we should swap in a big V8 because we're going to want a lot of horsepower to lug around all of the weight. We've already got all-wheel drive, which is going to be nice, and let's get some twin turbos. So we're rocking a big V8. I don't really want that much horsepower, honestly. We don't need that much. Maybe I try to get to the top of S1 class. That could be a good place. I love how I say, I don't think I want to upgrade the car all the way to the max, and then as I'm upgrading it... It takes every engine upgrade onto this thing to get it to the top of S class. So we've got a thousand horsepower, all wheel drive. We weigh three and a half to, uh, thousand pounds, which isn't bad, honestly, for a truck of this size, especially. All right, so beefy off road truck. Let's see what you got. This is gonna be pretty tough for me because this is a thousand horsepower truck. And I mean, using the wheel for the first time in a video is gonna be pretty sketchy, but. Let's give it a go. So, let's open up our map and head over to the Mud Kickers event. This, where is it? It's this particular one, Mud Kickers 4x4 Scramble. This is the event that I've been wanting to do for a really, really long time. So, welcome to the Mud Kickers event. I'm actually in a Toyota Hilux, which I probably should have mentioned is one of the very few Toyotas that are in Forza Horizon 4. There are a couple of them, this being one of them, obviously. But, um, yeah, there, there, there are a couple. I know, I know that. Anyways, let's get in to the mud kicker section, say hello to the off-roading proving grounds in Forza Horizon 4. This is a super, super cool area of the map where you can go through all of these puddles. Anyways, you might be able to tell something that's kind of strange about the way I play. I actually play Forza Horizon 4 from a chase cam with a wheel, which is a little bit strange. I, I don't know how many people actually do that, but that, yeah, that's what I'm doing. Obviously, as we're going through and I get more used to the wheel and stuff like that, we will figure out what are my best settings for this, what are my best settings for the wheel, and just basically figuring out how I like to play this game with this particular wheel, because every single one is different. We're actually getting a lot of understeer from this truck. It's like I turn it in, and then it doesn't really turn, so I turn more, and then it starts to oversteer. It's like, it's a very strange little truck. Obviously, though, I do need some practice. Like I was saying, off-roading, at least in, in Forza Horizon 4, with a wheel like this is going to be one of the hardest things you can do. Just because you're constantly flicking left and right and having to deal with those bounces, making sure, like, your wheel's straight and stuff like that. And the other thing, I, I can't really use the handbrake with a wheel. One of the accessories that Thrustmaster sells is that is that proper handbrake that you can pull which is awesome, but I don't have that installed right now. I wanted to start it off with, like, the basics and, and sort of move up from there, but this is my setup right now, and I gotta deal with it. Let's go and do some general off-roading, see what we can do, learn, learn the wheel, and then come back and give that another go. All right, so Toyota Hilux, let's head in to the off-road proving grounds and see what we've got here. We've actually got a danger sign here that I've just noticed. Maybe I should... Maybe we should go for that. Let's try that. I, I genuinely don't know how this is gonna go. This is a big truck too. I, I, I missed. <laughs> Rewind. Sorry. Got a little bouncy in there. All right, maybe let's slow down a little bit. Now we nail it in and oh, that was cutting it close. 
That's not the best jump a little sideways, but 625 feet. That's not bad. Two stars. Can't complain with that. It really is a beast, though. The amount of power that this thing has. And I'm just going full throttle everywhere. We can get, like, ball grinds in it and stuff. And it just, it just absorbs it. It's crazy. I am not doing this thing justice whatsoever. Get the down. Oh, I missed the sign. Yeah, I'm not doing this thing justice whatsoever. It is so powerful and has so much potential. This is a very, very quick truck. I'm surprised I didn't use this before. Anyways, let's go and try another race. Just to, what was going on with the... What is going on with my mud flaps? <laughs> Anyways, let's go and uh, let's go try another dirt race. Maybe, maybe an easier one. Who knows? Like I said, I, I, I still got to get used to the wheel, but I don't want to start making excuses. We got to go. We got to push and we just got to drive well. That's the main thing. This truck is really big and really fast. It's more about me controlling the truck than, than anything. I know the truck can do it. I physically have to do it though. Look at that for a little drift. Oh, almost lost it. Chuck it down to first gear. Oh man. That's one of those moments where you're just biting nails like, please don't spin, please don't spin. All right, we're good though. Why are we against so many tra trail trail cats? Trail hog? What are they called? Come on, Toyota. I never thought I would say that again, but apparently I am. All right, chuck the gears down. This is it's so different driving with a wheel than it is a controller. Like you have to physically be involved in the process or that happens. If you're if you're a second late, you cannot recover with a wheel. It is it is so much more intense than with a controller. Anytime once you've played the game a certain way for years and years, and you change that method, it is so incredibly difficult to wrap your head around it. But I'm giving it a go. We, need, we, we obviously need a couple of races and a couple of tries to, uh, to figure everything out, but it's not going as bad as I thought. Okay, you're not making my life any easier, Mr. Jeep. Okay, if we could all just get out of the way, though, big Toyota Hilux coming through. Like, I really didn't expect to be, like, in fourth place in a race on the second hardest difficulty. In a truck like this, it is one hell of an arm workout, though. It's like, shit, I gotta catch the truck all the time. And it's, if you lose it, it's really heavy and it does go. <laughs> that was actually pretty good, though. We we finished third. That's on the podium. That That's no, no complaints for me there. The two mini X-Raids managed to beat us. Okay. Yo, look at this. I just, I just set a waypoint. Like in the distance for a, for like a speed trap or something that's off-road. This looks insane. <laughs> See, this is what I'm better at. Open field. We're good. Oh, you know what I could do? I could do sheep herding in this. Put him in the bed of my truck. This is where I set my waypoint. I wanted to give this speed trap a try. Just because I think it'll help my turning. I've noticed in these races, one of my main problems is how quickly I come out of the corners. Like, I can go into them fine. It's just coming out of them and getting the slide on through the corners like that. I find I'm losing, losing just a little bit too much speed on the exit. There's like a little second where I'm just losing a little bit too much speed that's gonna slow me down a little bit. That's two star, hey, we pull an achievement. Apex Predator, what's that for? Speed zone hero level 10. No way! Sheep! I'm just saying, I totally could go and herd those sheep. How amazing would that be? Oh, that would be hilarious. Actually, I've just noticed this speed zone, or this speed... Yeah, this speed zone. It's gonna be pretty tough to do. There is that massive puddle at the start there that's gonna slow me down quite a bit. So I'm gonna drop a lot of speed there, but... 81! I don't know what speed I need to hit, but 81 mile an hour is pretty quick. Is that three? Yes! There we go! That's what I like to see! We're improving! I, I wanted to go try the mud kickers again, just because I want to redeem myself. I want to show that this truck can do it, and that I can do it on the wheel. Alright, attempt number two, Toyota Hilux versus the mud kicker. Let's see what we got. I think I'm gonna be able to do it. I feel like my off-roading ability from the start of this video to now has already improved as I jump up to third position. Thank god I can knock over those tires. Yeah, this is already so much- Get out of my way! Like, these guys are too slow for me now! I'm up in second place! Sorry, hold on, hold on. Wait for it, Toyota Hilux. Pretty quick. No, I, uh, this is taking much longer than I thought. First! I think I missed the checkpoint. God damn it. Well, I've dropped to third. 
but third place is already better than the eighth that I pulled last time. There's second as that truck in front of us, that's that guy who was in second place, he popped a tire there. He was three wheels around that corner there. That is sketchy. Oh man. I feel like my gear ratios are a little bit off and I if I was to build this truck again, I would definitely change them around. Okay, please don't land on that guy. Okay, never mind. We got first. No way. Let's go, Hilux. If we win the Mud Kickers event, that would be so dope. Like I was saying, obviously going from like a controller to a wheel is a pretty big drastic change, especially when you're so used to one of those things. And it's like, when you finally start to get corners and you're like, okay, I got this now. I can go around that corner and I know what the truck's gonna do and I can slide it through. It's so satisfying. All right, this is the final lap. We can't allow Sir Rockstar sending it to beat us on this event. No way. We got this. Come on, Hilux. We're gonna make this the widest Hilux in the world right now. We're gonna weave everywhere if we need to. Like, look at that. That's so satisfying. Yeah, I run into the wall. That's because I'm not good. But it's like, I'm, I'm starting to understand the way these things slide and what I need to do to catch it. It's like, I can power it through. That is the mud kickers, though. That was amazing. We did it. I just, I was not expecting that. Look at my lap time as well. Anyways, guys, that has been Forza Horizon 4 Mud Kickers in this awesome Toyota Hilux. I really enjoyed using the wheel. Let me know if you guys enjoyed this video by smashing the like button. I really want to start using this a little bit more, though. It just makes the experience that little bit more, you know? Anyways, huge thank you goes out to Thrustmaster for sponsoring this video, hooking me up with the wheel, all of the accessories. Without them, this wouldn't be possible. Until the next one, though, let me know what you want to see me do with this wheel in the comments down below, and I will try to make that happen. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys then. Bye!